Hi, this is Eric with Parts Doctor. Today we're going to show you how to replace the temperature sensor thermistor in your GE refrigerator. If you need a new temperature sensor thermistor for your GE refrigerator, you can check out our website, partsdoctor.com, where we sell parts for all major appliance brands. Since we will be working on the refrigerator's electrical components, disconnect power to the refrigerator. Note that the thermistor does not come with connectors, so you'll need to purchase some separately in order to complete the repair. We'll leave a link in the description below to the connectors that we used. This model refrigerator has six different thermistors. One is located in the ice box. One is located under the middle cover assembly. One is located on the ceiling of the refrigerator compartment. One is located on the fresh food evaporator coil. One is located on the side of the freezer compartment. And one is located on the freezer evaporator coil. Start by opening the freezer door, then pull the upper drawer forward and tilt it up and out. Remove the lower drawer by pushing it back slightly, then tilt the front up and out. Using a quarter inch nut driver, remove the two bolts holding the evaporator cover in place. Then pull the evaporator cover towards you, being careful as it is still connected by wires. Disconnect the electrical connector by depressing the locking tabs. If the cover is frozen in place, open the freezer door and unplug the refrigerator, allowing it to thaw. Today we will be replacing the freezer evaporator thermistor because it is the one that most commonly fails. Remove the thermistor from the refrigerant tube and separate it from the clip. The steps to replace the other thermistors are the same shown in this video once you have access to the thermistor. Using a wire cutter, remove the old thermistor by cutting it, leaving an inch or so of wire for testing. If the thermistor isn't bad, you won't need to replace it. If you want to test your thermistor, you can check out our other video that shows you how. Next, using the 10 gauge hole on your wire cutters, strip away an inch of insulation to reveal the wires. Then using a 20 gauge hole, strip away a quarter inch of insulation from each of the smaller wires. If you need to purchase a new temperature sensor thermistor, you can check out our website, partsdoctor.com. We'll leave a link in the description below. You want to make sure you are searching with the model number from the tag on your refrigerator to make sure you are getting the correct part. The new thermistor comes with a significant amount of extra wire that can be cut back before installation. Using wire cutters, cut away the tail, leaving about 2 inches of wire. Then, peel the wires apart and strip back a quarter inch of insulation. It is important to note that the wires on the new thermistor can connect to either of the existing wires as there is no polarity. To splice the new thermistor into place, insert one of the exposed thermistor wires into one end of the connector and insert one end of the pre-existing wires into the other. Then, using channel lock crimping pliers, crimp the connector on both sides to ensure that the wires are secure. Repeat these steps on the other wires. Using a heat gun, heat the connectors for around 20 seconds to create a waterproof seal. Exercise caution when doing so, as the excessive heat can cause damage to the refrigerator lining. Allow the new connection to cool down before use. Place the clip onto the new thermistor and snap back onto the refrigerant tube. Insert the cover into the freezer compartment and reconnect the electrical connector. Then, press until it seats back into place and reinstall the screws. To 
reinstall the lower drawer, insert it at an angle, making sure it sits beneath the support glide rail. Then pull the drawer forward so that the tabs align with the retainers on the slide rails. Make sure that the front of the basket is beneath the lip. To install the upper drawer, align the rear guide wheels on the drawer to the top of the support glide rail in the freezer compartment. That's it for today's video, and if you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and comment down below, and for more videos like this, please consider subscribing.